we have already unscrewed it's a nitro 5 now we need to remove this um, back cover very carefully so these are the two points but I'm gonna use this gently this locks will open it up with the help of So folks, as the back cover has been removed um, nicely and now let me show you what we are going to do next. Um, so this is the place um, where we will install our um, WD one terabyte uh, hard disk drive and um, Acer already provided us uh, four extra screws uh, to tighten um, the hard drive in this and they also provide us a data transfer cable which will uh, connect our um, hard drive to Acer motherboard this is the place where we are going to connect this and this is the place for second M2 SSD where we can install SSD. So these two are the RAM slots, um, 8 GB each. And if you um, ever decide to upgrade those, um, you, unfortunately you have only two slots and then either you have to um, buy a bigger size, let's say 16 GB or 32 GB and then you can upgrade it up with those. These two are uh, cooling fans. Um, that's, a, that's a nice thing in Acer Nitro 5 to provide some extra cooling boost while playing games and um, doing heavy stuff um, in which includes uh, video editing as well. So now let's just take it out. I just unscrewed the, these four screws. Now I will take this out and I will put this hard drive inside. And we need to use those four provided screws which came along with this um, Acer Nitro 5. The last screw, we'll see here. I really like the generosity of Acer where um, they provided us a lot of upgrade options compared to their other competitors in the market. It actually gives us flexibility to upgrade whatever is your need and requirement. So here you go. Now we need to plug the cable HHD upgrade cable which came with the yes, a nitro package okay screws okay after 
the next step is to plug the other side of this cable to motherboard We need to uh, put the battery cable back before we put the back cover back. all the screws back. 